fourth down. It looked pretty. It was awfully obviously close. Did you think on when you ran the play, you had it? I thought I did. Yeah. I thought they would. I mean, even, I got like stuck, but I thought they would, you know, give the fourth progress with the push. So. What kind of went through your mind when they did that play to you? It was for the game. Um, you gotta make a play. I mean, never in the country comes down to a fourth and two. Uh, uh, at their place, so if they put the ball, they have enough trust to put the ball in my hands at that point, then I gotta come through and make a play, so. They didn't run the ball very effectively late, but the passing game got in gear. What do you think the passing game, you and Tay, both a bunch of big catches, why was that able to be so effective as the game went on? Um, we knew coming in they had, you know, one of the best rush defenses um, in the country, so we knew, you know, if we could get the run game going, then it would open up the pass. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you can't run it like you want to. So, you know, as receivers, you know, we just, you know, talk to ourselves and, you know, we have to stay, uh, step up, make plays. Um, so there were some one-on-one -on -one battles out there that we just had to win. And Spencer, he has the trust in us uh, that we worked in. So he just had the trust in us to throw it. So we got to make plays when it comes to our way. How do you jump over those two guys that are bigger than you for that touchdown? Uh, size is deceptive. <laughs> is that why you wear 80? Uh, <laughs> most, most guys that are wearing 80 are pretty tall guys. Nah, I just, I just wear it just because they gave it to me. <laughs> uh, Mike said Spencer played well, so did Casey. Spencer said he could have done more. Mm -hmm. What do you tell Spencer? Do you tell Spencer anything to try to lift him up because he was pretty down? Uh, no, I mean, I think, you know, it's always, you never feel good when you lose. And you can always feel, I mean, shoot, he could have, I could have done more in the return game, whether it's getting more yardage or just you know trying to bust one open. Um, so I think in terms of when you go through a loss or just anything like a setback or anything, you always think like, what more could I have done? I mean, if we won, it probably would. Oh, he did it. He, you know, he did enough. So it's just all about attacking the mindset of you know moving on to the next one and not trying to be complacent with you know oh you know this and this and that. So I think that's all it is. But he played he played great today. All of you guys' games have been close this year. Whenever it's coming down to the stretch, did you feel like you guys were, were going to find a way to win this one like you had throughout? Oh, yeah. All the adversity we've gone through, you know, it's the same old stuff. So, you know, if they, I truly believe, if they call that a first down, then, you know, we go and score and we win the game. So, I mean, you know, it's not on our control. The game is over now. So we, all we got to do is just, you know, you can't get complacent. You can't, you know, let down just because, you know, you lost. People aren't going to feel sorry for you. Poles are not going to feel sorry for you. So we got to come back tomorrow at practice, and we got to get to work. Think back to last year at Miami. Uh, do you, I mean, and obviously what we just saw today. Do you think this was your best game as a Cowboy? Uh, I mean, we lost, so I would say no. So, I mean, the ultimate goal is you know to come out a win. So, you know, we didn't come up with the win, so it's probably not. Anything else for Brennan?